obviously fresh, but how do you reflect on the season and what steps do you think you guys need to take to continue to improve and make sure you get back to the playoffs on the uh, Right now, you know, just got to take a couple of days, uh, decompress and uh, think about it, you know, uh, we'll have our exit interviews with the coaches and the GMs and we'll talk all about that in a couple of days. They seem to have an easier time in the paint tonight. I've got it going a little bit. What do you think about that? Uh, our focus was to limit the threes, you know, and make them drive. Uh, they've hurt us a lot uh, over the past five games of threes. And um, when they drove, you know, I feel like we kind of gave them uh, too much of an easy lane to, to go downhill. I know you've taken a mentorship role with some of the younger guys. What do you make of just the ups and downs of a young player when Keegan and Keon have such great games against the Warriors yeah. who struggle tonight? What do you, I mean, you went through it as a young player. What do you make of just the ups and downs? Uh, you just got to stay uh, f- f- focused, you know, and, um, you know, never get too high, never get too low. You know, it's a long season, different matchups, different players, you know, and uh, you just got to try and be as consistent as you can, you know, because uh, that's what uh, the team needs from you. I know you guys aren't using it as an excuse. The Western Conference being as brutal and tough as it is, the 49 win mm-hmm. team, the Pelicans barely getting in. I guess, what do you make of just playing in such a difficult conference every time? Yeah, um, I, I, don't, I don't feel it's an excuse. You know, we dropped many games that we should have won during the season, uh, and we definitely would have been in, in, a, in a better position, you know, so it's kind of on us. And uh, today we couldn't get it done. You guys only lost two fewer games overall than last year, but obviously the season is very different. Does this, did it feel like a step back this season? Uh, personally, like as a team, I feel like we got better. It's just we couldn't finish some games. You know, we dropped a couple. The West is a tougher, you know, and uh, we're, we're kind, of, we kind of put ourselves in a bad situation uh, to make the play. Your offensively, you guys did. Um, did you feel that during the season and why? Um, I don't, I don't I don't know the numbers. I believe our numbers are pretty similar. Everyone else got better. <laughs> so, um, but but yeah, you know, um, I feel like last year we were more efficient overall. Everyone threw through the board, so maybe that has something to do with it. You've talked about how big value to, to you guys. Just how, how valuable has he been, and, and what's your case to try to get him back here? Uh, of course, you know, Malik's another playmaker on the court with Foxy, you know, so when we have two of those guys on the court at the same time, it makes it really dif- uh, difficult for your defenses to guard, you know, so um, he would definitely miss, you know, especially me as a big man. What was working with JaVale like as a veteran both on the court and in the locker as well? Uh, great, great veteran, big time, you know, um, helped everyone, you know, from me, Foxy, to all the way down to uh, the Chile guys, you know, um, always present, always uh, had his attitude, and uh, uh, held as uh, accountable for everything. What do you make of the defensive growth as a whole this season? That seems to be the biggest area of progress that you guys made. Uh, good. You know, I feel like uh, we definitely, um, since off-star break, our defense has, has has definitely improved a lot. You know, guys are getting more confident. And, uh, we're allowed to be more physical, which I feel like helps helps our uh, type of personnel on, on our on our on our team. Can you compare the environment in this building tonight to the other times that you played here this season? Uh, definitely. You know, this was a do-or-die game, so obviously the fans were definitely more into it, you know, and um, you definitely felt it. And what what's stood out to you about the way the dog um, just to be without Williams uh, and uh, Yeah, you know, um, very talented player. Um, when he's not playing, you know, they obviously shoot more threes. They're not attacking the paint as much.